Ms. Frank just wanted to talk a lot about Addison and the text message to Melody because that means that uh, on July 3rd, Melody was planning on killing uh, Gary. There's absolutely zero evidence of that. Uh, there's no text message, phone call, search histories uh, where there was any planning or preparation on July the 3rd. And Melody didn't say, no, you can't spend the night. She said, how about Melody's home? shirt. I just want to show you this. John Luke put this into evidence. And I'm just going to put gloves on to touch it because things get a little <clears throat> nasty when they've been in an evidence bag for six years. So, and we didn't do it uh, with the GBI uh, who actually did the test of the blood. But when you look, because I asked Shaw the photographs, you all have those photographs back. When you look at this, you remember, there's the front of it. Shaw was saying there was blood down here or here. That's where he was saying there was blood. But where <clears throat> there was actual blood found, way up here. He didn't point that out. That's where the GBI actually took the cutting of the shirt and found blood. And whose blood was it? That was Melody's blood. Now, they called the other lady with the GBI who said that she tried to run what was called a true Alil test. And all true, true Allele is, is just a computer program that can potentially try to separate two different types of DNA. And it couldn't do so it. So the barn, they took photographs of the barn. That's it. That's literally it. And we had pointed out, and I'll switch the side in a second, just because we were going through, and I'll kind of lay the framework for this, we, what we did is our staff who they got here late and so they did not get a seat, are standing over there, There's two of them. Now, they had to go through and print out every photograph in color in this case. One folder that is from July 15th has 2006 photographs in it. And we had to print, and that's just, that's one folder. There's probably almost 3,000 photographs taken in this case in total. So we printed all of those out, and John Luke sat there listening to, um, interviews flipping through photos and then I started going through and flipping through photos and then we started noticing that you know Scott living in the barn and you know he's a 30 something year old man probably not going to be very clean uh, it wasn't too bad but his living quarters pretty nasty dog feces all on the floor not the cleanest I'm kind of a clean freak so I pick up on that but what was curious to me a 30 something year old single man living in his parents' barn. That bathtub and that sink are spotless. And law enforcement took no initiative to say, okay, this is kind of weird. The rest of the house ain't too clean. Why is this absolutely spotless? And also, there's a magic eraser in the bathtub. I mean, at a minimum, could have blue start. What if he was washing off blood? But we don't know. Because they don't have initiative. Same thing, you'll remember, but you were probably wondering, like, why in the world are they putting these in the photograph?